Because if because if if I lie to you and say, hey, there's a bunch of planets, but don't worry about them because you can't get to them. You can't get to them, so don't worry about it. Like there are planets out there. There may be aliens living on them. There may be things living on them, but don't worry about it though, because you can so. you'll never get there. But I'm gonna tell you that just to keep you prisoner. And to, it's, it's basically saying what I was saying as well. I'm gonna tell you that to keep you prisoner in this in these lands, so you never go out exploring, regardless, and know that you can get into a better place. Because what this guy also goes on to say, he his his video was ass. He started talking just ridiculousness, but the story goes on to say about that captain is that he actually settled in that that new land, right? So he went through the ice wall. The, they were beat. They were met by a a ship. The, it was a red ship, the size that they've never seen. Like they've never. It was like a weird looking ship. He didn't explain it right. He just said, "Oh, a big ship blew a horn." And it blew a horn that basically, like they never heard a horn that loud. Like it was all new, crazy shit that they've never seen. And the captain went on to get married to. And he had a wife in the in our you know in our area and shit. He had a wife. When he moved to this place, he got a new wife. <laughs> he got a new wife, but they actually wind up, they actually wind up leaving. He 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 wasn't happy because he knew he had to get this information out. So they actually both of him and his new wife wind up coming back through the gate. And that's how we know about this story or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah. the thing is, He's, you have to ask, skip the matrix. You, right. You have to ask yourself. Why, number one, was he allowed in? And why was he allowed out? And why don't we know anything about it right now? Hey, man, informa information is easily, information could be silent so easily without even having to kill a person. You can just say he's crazy. He made the story up. This doesn't exist. Why would you believe him? You just fucking sabotage your whole character. Look, he fucking... He's an adulteress. He married another whole nother woman because he went selling and found I, your whole story. Your whole credibility goes out the fucking window. Mm -hmm. And this person that's trying to tell you the truth about something. He's looked at as a liar and the person with this, as they call it, the silver tongue is just in your ear. Hey, you, you why know, would you leave? Why would you leave? Okay. I sent y'all another one though, but that was yeah. that was it. But the people over here would say, "Listen, look at you know they come save save Dre went through the ice wall and he came back and he's talking to me. See ya, bitches. <laughs> but save Dre comes back. Yeah. They deserve it. And, and we start believing him. Yeah, what if they don't let him back in? Valhalla. But say, but say Valhalla. a couple people like man, Dre crazy dog. Y'all y'all listen to this nigga because somebody else got somebody else's ear. You're crazy. Yeah, I mean, Dre's gonna, gonna, tell, now. Dre's gonna yeah. tell the people that he knows is gonna believe him if if he if he's attempting to be serious about it. Yes, yeah, because right there's a, there's play Dre, and then there's serious Dre that we know. We know when Dre's fucking around. If Dre came back and was like, "Yo, I'm not fucking with you. I'm going back. This is what we got to do to get here. Are you coming or not?" I'm gonna yeah. be like, "Oh shit." You must know some shit that I don't. We out. He's like, yo, bro, the earth is actually really flat in this other lands. Like, well, NASA keeps telling me it's round and it's out of space. And bro, you bugging. Come yeah. here. Yeah. Where, there's, where there's pussy a plenty. Exactly. <laughs> and, and, and speaking you know, of NASA, like, speaking of NASA and space and all that shit, because that's what they keep trying to feed us to keep us away from the outside lands. Elon Musk has been fucking launching rockets into the atmosphere and it seems that's all as far as these rockets go is go to the fucking atmosphere and they make this weird fucking cloud cover and then they come Show back us. on earth so this is a picture right here of it Elon sure looks like it's not going straight up to me no nah, it looks like it's going around right mm -hmm. okay that's that's the that's the that's the rocket going up into the atmosphere Look at look at the thing it creates, right? Look how that odd shape is. Okay. Show you something. Okay, about the fry. Some of these some of these things don't look fucking familiar. That's a boat going through water. Absolutely right. 
Absolutely right. Pretty much can, makes the same tail as the rocket is. The same shape. You can see the, the boats in front with the wake and everything and the bubbles and the foam behind it. The same tail that's in the middle. Go back. Of the foam up. Look at this rocket. I'm going to click on the, the rock. Oh, sorry. The rocket's out front. <laughs> creating that same wave it created on the ocean with that fucking same tail behind it. The reason we can't fucking leave fucking what we think is an atmosphere is because of the fucking layer suppose it or what they say is a layer of ocean that's between us and the heavens that we can't penetrate. And I think that's what that fucking pl- that rocket is going up there. And fucking going through the fucking going through that water that I can't go through, and it's making that quake just like that, and it's coming right the fuck back down. Tell me, I'm just saying, look at it. That's a rocket. That's a speedboat. Mm. Not much difference. I mean, it makes it that it, it, it makes sense. It makes sense. I th- man, it makes sense. I'm not gonna lie. Like when you look at it, the proof is kind of in the pudding. Cause my thing is, hey yo, smart niggas, why don't y'all just make a fucking rocket? Like make a rocket and launch that bitch into space. Like get up there. <laughs> can't. It can't get up there. How how? And that's just funny. Like oh man, and you you see the fucking Mars rover going across Mars. That shit looks like you just fucking. Hey man, this is a place on Earth that you're not allowed to be as a human. This is restricted. We're going to send this shit around this orange dirt all the fucking time, just driving around, doesn't see nothing. It, oddly, it never gets dark. It never gets dark that you can look out at its stars, their stars, like, hey, that's what Earth is. <laughs> you tell me this 20 fucking billion dollar, 100 billion dollar fucking probe you sent in this space doesn't come with night vision? <laughs> or night nah. vision camera? Oh, we listen, man. Listen, we can't. We should you. definitely the at this point. We should definitely have Optimus Prime. Yeah, but I'm saying I can't hook you up with this DSLR camera that this lens that it you know, films at at night. I can't hook you up with this old fucking generic fucking the first camera that came back out in fucking 1956 with the flash bubble in front of it with the flash powder. <laughs> 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 oh, no, but I'm saying, why has this rover never took a night photo? I don't know. Mars is close. That I gotta check. Let me check. Yeah, I'm saying, but I'm saying, <laughs> I've never seen a night photo from Mars, and I've never seen how how close its sun is in comparison to our sun on Earth. Because no, it's sun, our, that's our sun. It's our sun. No, no, no. But the sun will appear, appear bigger in the in the sky on Mars than it would on Earth because it's closer to fucking the sun. It would have a different view. You'll be able to see what, what could be considered the Earth and the stars. You can see, you can look up from what they tell us. You can see Mars. If you look up in the sky, so you can see as a planet. It looks red. It looks orange. Everybody says that, that's Mars right there. That's the that's the orange planet. That's the orange star. You know that the sun's hitting that orange rock on the planet and it's giving off that orange glow. You can go out in the night side and look look at that all the time. So why hasn't this fucking probe been able to show you what it, what a night sky looks like on Mars? This shit is. Go ahead. This, I'm saying no, this. Right. No, I'm looking at it, and you can't. It's it's not night at all ever on any of these. And if it does, it all looks fake. Like all this shit looks fucking fake. It looks like there's HD cameras though. <laughs> but but, but it, it looks. It is absolutely it's fake. And that's what I think, man. They, I think they're trying to trick us. Like, I think it is right. more. I think this planet is fighting is more. It's just, well, why is it so scary? Like, what, what? Go back. Go back. If you looked at the map that the guy was showing, you saw how many lands other oh. than all the ones that we know past yeah. the wall? Yeah, it was three more lands. It's a whole three. New world for Four real. Rings. Yeah, it was like 20 different areas. Dog, mad shit. Valhalla yeah. might have been in there somewhere. It was. I seen, I seen of some shit. of them places sounded evil. 
Yeah, right. You go back and look at them. Some shit, some of them shit sounds scary. Like, all right, it don't sound like a place. You talk about this is the area where everybody go where it's peace, but that land right there sounds crazy. And you want to hear something? There. there is an outer space. Mm-hmm. No, listen, I'm gonna say it again. There is a outer space. Outer or outer? Outer is outer space. It's other space. That's what outer space means. Is other right. space out of here? Other where we at is outer space out We're here. The inner other. space. Where the fucking inner space? We're in the middle. Maybe we are in the middle. I don't fucking know why we're that's, in the middle. That's, that's what the map shows us. We're in the middle. We're in the middle. Yeah, because how else is everybody supposed to watch us if we weren't in the middle? Uh, listen, man, they probably, like I said... Which is crazy, because why? Make sure we don't get out. Freaking why, dude? <laughs> Make sure... Keep keep the niggas in there. Keep no, the war from battle now. it out in there. And as soon as they come out here, we done told all the presidents, y'all better block these doors off. That's why they guarding them all the time. That door, when it gets warm enough, that it opens up and it swallows your ship so you can go to the new lands. Nah, they know that's there. They guarding it. But when you come there and it's warm and you think you about to get swallowed up, they just start shooting your shit down. Now you don't go there. You go in there in a body bag. Well, <laughs> well, well okay. Well, think about think about the shit that used what they used to exist right here on this middle space. It used to be fucking dinosaurs. It's fossils. It's fossils found the dinosaurs, everything like that. These fucking uh Neanderthals and everything like this. What I think what happened was, yeah. Everything outside that ring was a little bit more advanced. And they discovered this fuck. All of them discovered this middle land. But it was these big fucking lizards here. And they killed like, them. What? Wipe these <laughs> bitches out. I got they them. came and just murdered them niggas. <laughs> got a media for their ass. <laughs> I got a giant rock for these motherfuckers real quick. You know Yo. what I'm saying? You have to think about that. Oh, then we got to talk about meteors then as well. What does that even mean? You might be right. If you think about it, right? You think it's just like an island with a bunch of Neanderthal niggas just sitting there, just sitting there, just, 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 just never evolved to Ooga Booga. Yeah, I'm yeah. asking you. Think of, <laughs> listen, think about what kind of being. See, now we got, see, and that's why I think that, that this many lands, so flat earth, when I looked up many lands theory, it didn't really give me anything because I that's what I call it. But the flat earth map, Gives me the many lands, so I'm a I'm a I'm a just kind of put this into that. When it comes to this flat Earth map, and you think of how many lands there are, all the main humans can't be, can't probably be not something else. Probably evolved them. If you on your environment dictates how you evolve and what you become, or what becomes the dominant species. Because if, if fucking the dinosaurs never got fucking wiped out, they eventually would evolve into something more dangerous because they they would have been here. Man, we wasn't fucking with these niggas as small as we was. Let's be real. Ninja, Tur Ninja Turtles. They were probably 100%. never wiped out in the first place. They, they probably gone. live in those other lands. Mm -hmm. Nope. And and somehow maybe they migrated through the Antarctica. Might have been an arc. All the way back in the day. Long, long, long time ago. Might have been an arc. They moved in herds. An arc. Maybe they couldn't make it. Maybe when they thought it froze over, it didn't freeze over. They were trying to travel from where they were over here or maybe from here back over where they were. They probably got here and was like, nah, this ain't nah. it, bro. No. <laughs> <This ain't> it. <laughs> the lead dinosaur said, nah. You're wrong. Why you tell us to come this way? I but told it, you. But here go the funny thing. Home. You, why don't you look at these? Back. You look at these different religions and everything like that. They all kept saying it were like, they were always, they was always old religion. It was always at war. It was always these different gods at war over the over the land with these people, and their technology was so advanced. Like I said, maybe they was battling over this shit. And what's here? Who won? Like the maybe we maybe this species won. Maybe this species because it may be different other species. Maybe this version of whatever the humans won. Maybe there's other lands where it's fucking because they used to say giants exist. Maybe used giants to. used to exist. Giants. No, they maybe saying, another land. They there are people out there. Yeah, humanoids out there on these other islands are fucking giants. Maybe this little fucking species because our brain is always fucking tinkering and we always work. 
all we ever think about is fucking human species. Let's think about it. War, conquering another land, and fucking wealth. That's all we fucking do. Since the inception of fucking mankind is all we do. Fight somebody, invade somebody, take over, take their wealth, conquer them, rule them, enslave them. Maybe this, maybe we are the bad species like that. Yo, y'all are the fucked up ones. Y'all are, but we left y'all here. We were fucking ruling y'all. We left some people in charge to make sure you fuckers don't get out of fucking line. And we're the dominant ones of this fucking of these saying, of these outer rings. Be the opposite. We no, it, we in the center. We're in the middle earth. We lost that battle, and Midgard. Everybody around us shoved us into the middle. And this is where we must stay while everyone has the time of their lives in paradise. No, Damn. no, it's not. <laughs> Yo, wow. <laughs> no, Goodness. No, I mean, bro, think I about it. There's beautiful places in the world, you know what I mean? But imagine you going somewhere that's completely new. This whole, everything about it is new. Everything about it is better. Technology is better. The people are better. Life is better. The weather is better. Bro. Everything, and then you have to come back here. Why would you? Because I'm gonna tell you why we're back here. I'm gonna tell you exactly why. This is the they gonna make you. Perfect, that's why. No, no. This is the perfect. <laughs> this is the fucking. You gotta get out. Yeah, Listen to this. Right this is the perfect military setup. You're in the center of everything. You have access to each one of these fucking gates where you can. If hmm. if my gate is the if my gate okay. is the north gate and I rule the north gate. I can easily come to the north gate, be in the center, hit the west and the south gate easy. This is the perfect military setup. I'm in the middle of having access to everything else. That's pretty good aspiration. And good aspiration. I don't give a fuck if this middle shit gets bombed out. As long as I still long as I'm still in control of this motherfucker, the war can happen here. You'll never get to my land because you'll never get past what I control in the center to get to my gate. But I can get I got access to all your fucking gates. Maybe that's why that horn sounded. When that dude came through that gate, it was like, oh, shit. They sent somebody from the north gate to the fucking south gate. They got through. They're coming yeah. to fucking invade. This I mean, is the perfect the only, military. The thing, this is the perfect military setup. The only Am thing I wrong? that doesn't make sense about that is no, you're right. that we can't go through these gates if we wanted we're to. Not we're not they're guarded. allowed to. They're guarded. You ever you ever been in jail or in prison, Kev? Like in a, in, in, in a prison? No, you, but I've been. Have you ever visited I, a prison? You ever I've been on. A, I've been on. A, I've been on a military. So, I've so, I see military so, bases. Yeah. So when you go into a prison, it's gated, so you can't get out. But everything that you want is outside these gates. You know what I mean? That's, and there's what guards on each corner, protecting these gates, making sure that you can't get through these gates. Well, not to. This, not to get ready to create a war, especially with okay. beings that we don't know it, Kev, what don't type they are. That. These motherfuckers swimming. These motherfuckers got boats the size of islands, Kev. But listen, flying listen, through our mm, waters. You talking about a? You talking that? about a prison? But you talking about the prison? That's the same thing as a military base. A military base got fucking gates. We got no fly zones. They let you in. We got radar. Every fucking trailer. place on earth has a radar <laughs> system set up. The fucking go somewhere. Supposedly, all the countries in the world have a pact that you can't fly to fucking Antarctica. You can't fly to this one part of the gate. To think that we would be the but top I'm thinking of about the food this. chain on that motherfucking on Why? That map is absinthe to me. No, we're not. The, you're not. You're not listening. Even military wise listen. or anything, we Drake. wouldn't be. We wouldn't be the ones to be able to cross those lines and be like yo we taking shit over you're not cross those what lines I'm and probably look around and be like mm, this is an ass whooping we about to okay. face <laughs> okay, you're not understanding you're not like oh shit let me let me break it down for you so you can understand united states right united states is big fucking country. show or a movie wait, whatever man. whatever we have a base we have a military base in taiwan that gives us easy access to fucking China, to fucking send our military forces to fucking Taiwan to go if we wanted to go invade China. We don't want to ever lose that access because that's, that controls us getting over there easy. I ain't saying that sent the center, this middle earth, is the fucking strongest thing in the world. What I'm saying is 
Antarctica, that gate that we can't go through. That's always everybody got a trade tree to go. Maybe going through that gate takes us to who's really ruling the middle part. And this middle part, which is us, is an easy access military base setup to get to everything else on the outside. Because we're in the fucking middle. And I making sure that all my people, if anything flies over Antarctica, everybody on the United, everybody on the planet Earth, as we call it, is supposed to engage whatever flies over that area. We are automatically supposed to send every boat from every nation to go there. Every fucking airplane that we can fly out is supposed to go there and protect Antarctica. Why? Why? Why is everything in this planet so focused on this one little area? Maybe because uh, um, I'm saying, what if they ain't protecting Antarctica? They protecting, what if they protecting us? Because as soon as you go through there, they already told us once. It's a red don't boat. Come, don't come back through here, bro. No, it's not through here again. If you if you or anything that look like you come through here again, we coming through. Dog. Where did the do set? Where did the do set? He sailed to Antarctica. Dog, you have to understand, bro. That boat was red. Them bloods from other lands is different. different they bro. don't play none of that <laughs> shit. It's, it's on site with lasers. No, I, 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 dog, I really too. we could be yo. in the center, right? And 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 each of these doors that you that you're describing could have a leader. What if each of these leaders don't like us? You know what I'm saying? Oh, because us is trying to inv invade China or in Taiwan or we we are humans fighting humans. The level, the, the the playing field is at level. You know what I'm saying? These doors could be protected not for their sake, but for our sake. Because as soon as we start looking in shit that we ain't supposed to be looking in or, or going places, imagine, all right, you find one place and you're lucky enough you get in there and it's and it's paradise, right? And oh man, I found a beautiful place. And then and now you find another door and you open up this door. And it is literally hell, nigga. And well, you're trying you, to get out, but guess what? what? The dude, they trying to get out with you. But that's, <laughs> you know what dude, but that's what the dude said. He said we've been trying to liberate the center. Okay, I'm gonna pull this map out. Well, not this one. This, I'm gonna pull the other map out. Yeah, you had the other one. Like the, you had one. This yeah, one right here. The, I want this one right here. All the, with all the, with okay, all the say say the gate in the right corner is. The bad guys, okay? They're the bad guys. That that upper gate controls what's in the middle, okay? He controls the middle. His he got lands beyond that. That is he don't want blocking, but that guardian's right there. See how we in the center? He can easily that right gate corner can send anything to go fucking go to any three of them other gates. But to get to his area, you gotta control. You gotta cross what he controls. You don't know if he got is the I reason like I say about listen, the reason I say about these boats and these ocean, these alien spacecraft in the ocean, the size of fucking small islands, maybe it's that third gate shit saying, listen, motherfucker, you start crossing over my middle shit. I got some shit in the ocean that's gonna pop up that be able to fight the real fucking war. I tell you. Today's sponsors are brought to you by Ideas Unlimited. Do you have a birthday party coming up? Maybe a baby shower. Could be a wedding party. School's letting out. Could be a graduation party in mind. Ideas Unlimited has it all from custom 360 booths with backdrops to a personalized throne chair with centerpieces. You like snacks? Everyone likes snacks, am I right? Get your snacks custom made with your face on it. Ideas Unlimited can do it all and more. Get all your party needs at Ideas Unlimited. Your party one-stop shop. You can contact them on Facebook and Instagram. Ideas Unlimited. Proud sponsor of the opinionated podcast. He does. Get what I'm saying? I'll like I got my base. My base is underwater. You can't see it. You cross out of your gate to try to come to my gate. I'm gonna pop this shit out the middle of this ocean, and we're gonna get the battling in the center of the earth. In that's the center, we are. but think that's where we're at. We don't control. We don't. We're I'm playing. saying we don't we're control. We don't control we're this land. We <laughs> the battlefield. We are the battlefield. Think about it. And they want to send their best dancer. But I'm saying, Bill. Bill. <laughs> but think about, does, does it not make sense? Like we're essentially a battlefield. When we go to when we go to fight wars in Iraq and shit like that, do we have? Do, are we inviting Iraq to the United States to fight a fucking war? 
no, no we don't bomb like anyone to you. Exactly. We go over there and bomb this shit the fuck out. And control. Remember, don't forget about Pearl Harbor, nigga. They bombed us too. But look at shit. Sweet. We have Pearl Harbor was close to Japan. But look at look at that shit. I'm saying, look at these. We're in the center, right? Drake, point to the center, right? That's that's the battleground. Say that island to the right, right there, Dre. Go up to the corner, right? Say that controls the middle. Maybe you can't cross that sea or these seas to get to that fucking thing. You got to go through that middle to get to them. It's long as shit, too. Like, that's it's longer to go like these ways. But if you go through, like, you're no, I don't, I don't think anybody's arguing that, that that's not a sound strategy. I, I think that's a great way to explain it. Like, that does make sense. Like, right. this is the breezeway. And look, we might have, I got, I got something else for you that, that might make sense as well. Let me get this off the screen. I got something else that might make sense for you that goes that goes with that. What if the other lands was always there and this was always a a a throughway, mm. right? But this throughway was with underdeveloped beings, like the fucking yeah. what do you call them earlier? Um, Neanderthals. Neanderthals, and say maybe the motherfucker started mating with some Neanderthals and out came us, the unruly ones, the ones that. Was going to war and yeah. doing, you know what I mean? Like doing shit they wasn't supposed to do. Why? Because remember, even in the Bible, they said that angels would mate with, um, mate with humans. Yep, and does, make giants and everything. I mean, does, it makes sense. Does that does that kind of make sense? That yeah. the, the the beings that was coming through the crawlsway was like, yo, that fucking Neanderthal bitch got a fat ass. Nothing better, nothing better right? than some five five day old river pussy. Right, slid up in there. You giant bitch. Slid, that, <laughs> slid up in there, and then we start. And then the regular, then motherfuckers who can walk up right, talk normal, and or or create hey, speech yo. and all that shit came out right. And then they can't control us. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't that start to make a little bit more sense on why they say no? Keep them niggas. Keep them yeah, genetic in experiments the in yeah. there. <laughs> Yeah, like we yeah, let them when we see them. go to battle, we'll stomp on them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we'll do it there. <laughs> As, we'll and like, that. yo, yo, Asgard, why did you go fuck the monkeys in the middle? Now you got these fucking monkey, these monkey men in the middle just fucking bombing shit. Now they don't know what to do with themselves. That's yeah, all we do. Hey, I got even better. I got even more of a theory for you. Uh, White people. You think they're the aliens? <laughs> <laughs> If you think about it, the stories that was told, I think, with Admiral Richard Byrd was the motherfuckers that he saw was tall, Nordic-looking motherfuckers, like fucking tall, blonde hair, blue-eyed motherfuckers, right? Now, say they came in, right? Seen, seen they came in. Admiral Byrd. No, listen, Admiral Richard Byrd. What was he, though? A white dude. All right. Yeah, they wouldn't let black niggas fly over the North Pole. <laughs> like, nigga, you can't even go. You, you can't go can't. here. You definitely ain't going over the North Pole. <laughs> you can't leave the yard. You, you can't. Yeah, yeah, you fly. You fly in circles around your backyard, nigga. Um, but no, he said that's what they look like. So wouldn't that make sense? Why white people hate black people just for no reason since the beginning of the time? Why 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 lighter people hate darker people just since the yeah. beginning of the time? It's in their fucking bones to just hate you. Yeah. Yeah, no maybe, maybe, maybe we maybe we came maybe we fucking explored here too, settled out like hey man, let's carve out Africa for ourselves. These motherfuckers, their gate was closer to the north. Like our gate was closer we're to fucking take where the, the black sun is at. Yeah, we're gonna oh, take where the sun is at. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's crazy to think about. All but it's like, is right? Yeah, I like the dark. <laughs> I like the dark <laughs> ones. <laughs> like man, it's something. It's something about this. It's like it's something about us. Like we can absorb the sun. And changing the energy and everything like our melon, like it's like we set up. We're really good. We're, we're like we're <laughs> yeah, we're set up to fucking. We're set up pretty good on this planet. Can't we don't get sun poisoning. Planet. We don't get set up. We don't get sun poisoning. These are the lighter ones, dude. We we're, we're really look, look, look how big our nostrils are. We can suck up. We can suck up more air better. <laughs> a little skinny Racism. <laughs> Racism. And I know yeah, where it came right. from too. The other lands, the land. <laughs> you brought it here with you. Yeah, but I'm Nordic. just saying, man, it's just it's just crazy though. Like it, maybe we can escape. Maybe we are the fucking the redheaded stepchild that we got to be kept in fucking check. Like if these little fucking crazy little 
bastard childs of us get the fuck out. They're gonna fuck shit up over here. Cause we they couldn't we couldn't find like if you you couldn't send a group of motherfuckers over there. Last time they sent a group so of motherfuckers. Last time they sent a group of motherfuckers on a boat to go find this peaceful land called America. They fucking killed all the people here. Gave them smallpox blankets and sent them on the fucking trails of tears. They took all their fucking resources and went to another fucking place. Got some people from there and say, hey, you come over here and you clear this shit out for us and uh, build it up for us. We just going to kick our feet up and uh, fucking live off your backs. Don't you can't that. send them same group of people to another fucking land and do the same fucking thing. Nah. Send everything we got. Don't that sound like the holier than now other landers that came yeah. here and said, "Yo, just make them niggas just slaves." Yo, they don't need to. They, who cares? Exactly. Don't that, they, sa- don't that sound like some shit that makes sense? Yeah, they can't beat us. What the fuck? They got spears and arrows. We got a fucking I got a plane. I got a fucking uh, aircraft that's flying through the fucking air. With a push of a button, I could wipe out fucking half a fucking city block of these motherfuckers. Well, listen, man, there's nothing nothing funnier than you flying over a fucking place in Brazil and they shooting fucking arrows up at a helicopter that'll never reach. But I got a fucking sniper rifle from this aircraft, I can fucking knock you down. Like, hey, that's how they looked at why us. They got, why they only got bows and arrows in Brazil? In Brazil. <laughs> And the, I'm what? not Brazil, but in the middle of the rainforest. That's what I meant to say. If you ever go, you ever see the plane that fly over the middle rainforest and they Niggas find the each lost tribe? Too. They find the lost, lost tribe and they be trying to shoot arrows at the fucking helicopter. Go it's fight like, them niggas though. Hand now, hand. I don't have, I, I could. I take a fucking helicopter, sit a fucking buff, and I go, man, give me that M16. Nah, nah, I mean, nah, give me that nah. fucking Get off the M20. Plane. Nah, 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 nah. I got time for that. I got time for that. I got time for that. Hey, see man. how you feel. Nah, man, listen. I grab, I like, man, give me a handful like of grenades Daniel and I just drop them shits uh, down uh, there. Ventura. I win the battle. <laughs> it's over. Drop a handful of grenades out of, fucking, out of a fucking air, out of a helicopter. Battle's over. <laughs> I have one word for you. What's up? Mermaids. Hmm. So you thinking mermaids is from the outer ring also on flat yep. earth? Yep, because you don't spot them often. You have we've never spotted them, but it's been talked about for a long time. Dragons. Like so, these ain't just this ain't just motherfuckers like dragon. You know what? That's what I'm gonna call think, them. Yeah, you I don't think I mean? it's I don't think it's just a, a necessary ice wall that a cave you gotta go through. I, you know, that you can it's probably a gate that you can sail through. It's a probably a gate you got to swim underwater through, probably with the mermaids. Dragons probably got a gate you got to fly over. Like, yo, hey, man, sometimes these motherfuckers creep over here and we got to, you know, we got to put them down. Because that's the first thing we, we fear we don't understand. Like, you just put Shoot them down. Real quick. Ask questions later. Yeah, exactly. Ask questions later. What the fuck you seeing when you up in Antarctica chilling, making a fucking fire or building an igloo or whatever the fuck you going to do? And you see a dragon just. Fly over top of you. You don't know what it is. You just looking at that shit and that shit breathing fire. I'm just making up something, but oh, man. you ain't gonna know what your brain is Can't not process. going to comprehend it. You are gonna look at it like immediately fear. That's the first thing you are gonna feel is fear. Like this. because you gonna first is something in the sky mm-hmm. breathing fire, big as shit. I don't know what it is. I'm seeming like I'm lunch. Yeah, mm-hmm. can I, <laughs> yeah, is my yeah. weapon is my weapon strong enough to kill it? Meanwhile, what what weapon? This nigga's breathing fire. No, right, but that's what you think. Fire. But you think you're like yo, igloo, he's gonna burn your house down. <laughs> you think? I'm saying natural, natural human, right natural human there. instinct is like yo, either run from this motherfucker, or if my weapon's big enough, I'm gonna fucking knock this. No, out let me out. let me tell you what you're gonna do. You're gonna try to run from it. Oh, you're not right, you're right. not gonna. Yeah, you're not gonna go. Uh, you're gonna run. What weapon do you have? To what, fight what a dragon, have? Kev. What do you think? No, I'm just mean? saying. I'm just saying. I'm just he saying. That's, in his that's the two natural human <laughs> instances. You're gonna is either fight, fight or flight. If I seen a fucking mermaid jump, if I seen a fucking mermaid creature jump out of the fucking ocean, and I got my fucking rifle on me, and that motherfucker the same size as me, and I know I got a clip full, yeah. I'm probably gonna empty the clip before it's I have a conversation game. with this nigga. Nah, mermaid this game is way better than your rifle. Yeah, but I'm saying. They don't, we don't speak the same they language. Arms, I don't know if this nigga saying shit, hello or he's growling. I'm just gonna shoot this shit first. I ain't know. Growl. Growl. Oh, he's funny. How do they growl <laughs> underwater? 
No, I'm saying he jumped out the water. If he came out the ocean, that motherfucker jumped out the ocean. You ever see the uh, shits on Aquaman? Some of them shits had legs. Like some of the motherfuckers that came out the ocean had legs. He cried. No, if he jump out the ocean and he walk up on shore and the shit look creepy and I got a gun on me, yeah, hey, you getting bucked down. I let the scientists figure out what the fuck Mermaids you are. walk? No, no, certain sea creatures, dog. Maybe you don't. Come on, man. Well, we well, that's another fucking crazy thing that we've been told that we only how many how much of the ocean that we have we explored? Ten percent. Less than ten percent. Less than ten percent. Nigga, what does that sound like? Yeah, sounds like we ain't got enough boat. No, it sounds like <laughs> we, we ain't fucking. We don't want to. We don't want no space. Leave what the fuck down there is down there. Somebody said, hey, right. somebody went down there and said, nah, I'm good. Yo, NASA <laughs> said, nah, I'm good. Yeah. Gonna make... Set a robot down there. We're <laughs> <laughs> gonna play with this outer space put, shit. Put Getty images. Up, we we sat down 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 and they both went swimming. Yeah, we good. Listen, man, I, I, I'm just saying, bro, like, this whole, like I said, the more you dig into this flat earth shit, the more this shit makes sense. Like, it's just crazy, man. And here, here's another thing that makes sense about the flat, people was doing about the flat earth thing, man. Somebody had a video of, like, two suns appearing at the same time. It was, like, at a mountain peak, and it was a sun in front of them and a sun behind them. And I remember watching old fucking... I think it, I want to say it's old movie, something like Three Ninjas, where they show this. You ever seen them old 80 movies? They always show like the sun fucking rising up real big in the background. There's some corny, some corny yeah. ass fucking 80s music fucking banging off real quick. She was fire. Shit. It'd be fire. But I, I used to see them videos and I would see like the sun be in between the clouds. Like, but I never questioned it back then. Like, hey, the sun's coming up through the sky. And I'm like, all right. And people got videos of that, of the sun being in between the clouds. And I'm saying to myself, if this sun is a ball of fire millions of miles away, how the fuck is it coming between the clouds or rising? How is this sun rising up through the fucking clouds? Like, shouldn't that shit just be the clouds always be in front of this motherfucker? Like, why is the clouds between this? Why is the sun between these clouds? Hey. I feel like, I feel like when we do we're probably gonna do a part three to this that we really go into the the, the other land like because i feel like we, we we're touching it but i think it's so much more to this but guess what there's not enough research that have been done on it obviously because it's a theory yeah you know what i'm saying but All this is you know, been there. even with the sun the reason why I, I say that is because with the sun if we are assuming that the earth is flat and that there are other outer lands you have to assume that there's multiple suns oh yeah you know what i mean yeah yeah they gotta get their lights this too, getting around this is getting around too fast right so that's that's kind of crazy if it's yeah. multiple suns you think this now ask your question do you think the sun is artificially like created it's like I mean, like this, like this fucking giant light bulb in the sky. I would have to assume that, assume that everything is right. If there's, if we're if we're taking one, you know, step to that direction, then you might as well go full on out and say that everything's like that. Could be a big gigantic experiment. What better way to experiment? What better what better way to figure out what works than make a bunch of different shit, separate them, put them in their own environment. With their own resources and see what happens. You might get motherfuckers that look like aliens that start communicating telepathically. You might get us. You might get mermaids. You might get, you know, fucking beautiful, beautiful fucking tall white people. You might get lizard guys. Amazonians. You might get Ooh. Snoo Snoo. Death, death by Snoo Snoo. Hey, you, might, <laughs> you might. <laughs> As, imagine, imagine landing on that island. Like, let me show you what, hey, you, what this, yeah. nah, what this is actually. Let me show you what this is actually used for. Don't kill me. They gonna kill the death by snoo snoo, nigga. What you talking let about? Let me slide this inside of you real quick. It's gonna fucking you to death. So they gonna make shacks like all shacks walking around. <laughs> Not quite tall enough, but you never know. The nephilim, <laughs> the nephilim, like you could make. Like my point is, like, what better way to have an experiment than to just have a whole bunch of because because with these many land things. One of the theories that each one of them is covered by a dome, mm. right? 
and there are the openings or there are the under the sea where you can get to other lands, but obviously you would have to know. But if we're all covered by domes, then that's why we probably can't leave our dome. So I think that would be an easy that would be an easy way to get to another land. It's like yo, escape my dome and land in somebody else's dome. Can't you gotta go under. Or so how the fuck is so, or you gotta go so deep, we can't go deep enough. What they said is pressure. Well, what does it you know, say in the Bible? Strong enough beings. Doesn't it make more sense when you start to put all those pieces together? Can't go deep enough. Can't, can't go, go deep, deep enough, can't go high enough. Ain't no mountain Too high. Cold. Enough. So military you just as, watching. Did you think we just this little bubble on a flat surface? You got as above as below. That's what I it says in the Bible. What's what's that? What's that game? Double trouble. What's that game? Yeah, double we, trouble. Double trouble. Well, you, just, yeah. well, you got the Johnny. Just yeah. that's what we live in. Right? Yeah, that's <laughs> we only little... niggas with a bubble. <laughs> <laughs> and every couple centuries, God just goes like, yeah. <laughs> reset. Let's drop a meat. Let's drop a let's drop a rock out of the sky real quick. Let's let's let's. Let's let's let it go through this fucking atmosphere and land on this planet. Well, th- think about it, bro. There's media sh- meteor showers that they talk about, but have you ever got hit with a fucking meteor? <laughs> uh, have you actually ever seen one? I don't they, know. Just one they just have one. They just have meteor one man. They just have one recently come through. Uh, yeah, uh, but have uh, you uh, been uh, able to look at the sky? And yeah, I seen. I seen. I seen, seen falling stars, stars, but yeah, shooting stars, but yeah, I see that. How do you know what the fuck that is? Hologram. Well, that's a nigga well, moving it on a on a screen with a stylus. That's what that's doing. Like, ah, let me put it over here. The like, next on, couple man. of um, where it's falling to. The next couple of months, we go we go through the ash. Consider we go through the asteroid belt because I was mm-hmm. I was out there October and September. I remember one night I had seen like one falling star, and I just kept seeing multiples of these shit. I'm like, God damn, there's a lot of falling stars tonight. But I didn't realize we was actually going through the asteroid fucking belt at this time. So you hit I, one? I ain't never been hit with one. No, it's it, somebody got hit with a meteor. Somebody got yeah, it was Meteor it. Man. It was Robert Townsend, and it <laughs> never fucking <laughs> happened. That's what happened. No, no, no. Somebody was hit by a meteor before. <laughs> Robert Townsend uh, or the nigga from fucking uh the nigga from Phenomenon. Duh. None of this. Listen, you ever see one? You ever see one? It's like, oh shit, a meteor fell in front of me. <laughs> Yeah, listen, this lady here in November 19 of November 30th, 1954, uh Alabama, Alabama woman was struck with a meteorite. I don't trust it. She could But listen, this is how this bitch lived though. She, she says and this is a big ass, this ain't this is a big ass rock. This is a I'm fucking spaced. how you get hit with a big space rock and fucking and live. Oh, and she ain't get no crib. powers. It came through her crib, it came through her roof, it ain't leave a big like look, I'm gonna show you this picture. This bitch got. If you got hit with a meteorite, right, bitch, you you been dead. Your house wouldn't be intact the way it is. You should Yo, go move the fuck up. Imagine calling out of work that day. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what happened? Yo, I got, Yo, I got, got hit with a meteor. My motherfucking meteor, man. Nigga, be here by nine. <laughs> yeah, you better be on time, meteor man. <laughs> better fly your ass to work. I'm pretty sure that meteor gave you powers, right? <laughs> Pull up in front of hit your house. car, baby. This should. I feel like it should. If you're gonna hit, if I would get hit with a meteor, bro, give me powers. Like, I should be doing some fly shit. And, and also, why nobody got powers? Maybe in them other I'm lands, got niggas got. Yeah, maybe in them other man. lands, niggas is flying. One of shit. them is Asgard, and one of them is Odin. definitely Asgard. Yeah, yeah one of them. Walls of Asgard. Odin. Look at this lady. This is this is a lady got. That's her meteor in the hand. That's what the rock came through. Get the I don't fuck out it. No, she's lying. Yeah, she looked like people hate her and threw rocks at her house. She looked like she lied for attention. Yeah, <laughs> but, but back what you were saying about powers, though. Maybe some niggas do got some powers. Maybe it's a couple Supermans and shit like that. Maybe all these fucking characters we make up in these fictional things probably exist. I think Thor, Thor exists. Like I think fucking Asgard exists, bro. I don't want them niggas to roll up here. That was <laughs> so dope. So and one group of people believed in that, bro. That yeah, Thor, Odin, like that's the people that they prayed to. The fucking Vikings and shit, well, like go, going when they die to go to Valhalla. Like these are well, things that has been, you know what I mean? Like well, imagine, maybe the like, Egyptian, you kind of but the Egyptian gods and all them were Vikings back. Thor in the is day. Marvel Jesus. Imagine they imagine Vikings sailing around, actually going to these different lands, 
and the reason that they pray to these gods is because they've actually seen these gods. They actually lived during these times. So as they're just floating, floating through these waters, going to different places, learning different things, they're the reasons why we're stuck in the middle now. Because of the Vikings? Vikings. Blame the Vikings. Blame the Minnesota Vikings. Blame the Minnesota Vikings. Well, that's the case in the Egyptians. Guys got to exist too, maybe because we was fucking sailing too. Don't get it twisted. Like Africa wasn't sailing. No, no, no. They loved us. Wait, wait. So now, now we're getting into something. Don't it make more sense if different people worship different? I said, don't it? Don't it make more sense though? As you keep going and digging, it's like, damn. You know what I mean? I said that earlier. Say it again. Like you, you Egyptians went and visit, went sailing and fucking found their gods. They worshiped them. You came to visit us from your outside land. We worship you. According they to te- the Emerald Tablets, they came to they came to them. Exactly. You te- not and you see something, you're trying to explain. Trying yeah. to explain something like that. Trying to explain these beings with these headdresses on and shit like that. You can't explain it. They shoot lightning from their hands and they can fly. They can float. They come from the stars above. Like, yo, it all makes sense. Who say the Egyptian guys didn't exist? Who didn't say Thor was probably it? A real dude probably got an accent from some technology from his land that can shoot fucking lightning. Just like the Egyptians. Yeah, they that, that eye of fucking Ra they got. Oh, that's a fucking death cannon from the Egyptians land. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm saying, you worship, you worship something that you're fucking terrified of that you can't understand. Like, yo, you're powerful. If 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 these if the Egyptian gods came from another land, it will look like magic. Something you can't explain looks like magic. Yeah, like it, especially yeah. back then, everything was magic. Thousands of years ago, them niggas came and shit that they classify now as a spaceship. Exactly. Thousands of years ago. I mean, come on, bro. You can't explain it. If I fucking took a time machine and went back with this fucking laptop, like, look, I can fucking trap your soul in here. Look, I got people in here. You'll believe me. You'll worship me. That's great. That's great. You know what I'm saying? You will worship me. You will worship me. You will worship me. Because I, I, I say I trap you. Because all I got to do, right, Dre? You could be one. Think, but think about it, Dre. All I got to do is take a picture of them with my with my phone or something. Look, I got your souls trapped in here in my phone. Oh, I did a level trickery. All I got is all I did. I have your soul trapped in here. And if you want it back, look, I, I take his fucking head off. And your head is fine. You'd be like, oh my gosh, you're a god. He possessed this what this box that took pictures of our souls and kept it. Nigga, it's a camera phone. <laughs> <laughs> Having camera phones back in the Egyptian. <laughs> so I would go ape shit. Some of the baddest bitches. I'm like, yeah, I'll take a picture of you. Only way to get your soul back is to sleep with me. Oh wow. <laughs> That's you know, that's the shit you think of. You would be a <laughs> terrible hey, God. You always know God was God was always fucking the God they was always was fucking the baddest bitches about. though. No, they they were, the you were some really okay. despicable God. Worst no, but all the guys are doing the same thing. Can you imagine Pete? Like they was make sacrifices to take your beautiful daughter and, and offer it to the gods. That, that, did they not say that? Take I mean, your I most beautiful woman in the village and know. offer her to the god. I don't know if that's I, you might you might be getting that from movies or something. Come on, because okay, I don't really mine, know where they did that at and why. Mine's wasn't mine's wasn't offering, virgin, virgin maybe. Offering, they was offering virgin sacrifices to the god. Yeah, man, listen, I want some untapped pussy. Dude. You listen, <laughs> I want. Hey, you better offer your virgin, nigga. How do all I'm doing here? is all I'm doing is hitting. <laughs> listen, I'm saying that's. You might your mic's cut off, Dre. You might your mic. What'd you say? Say it again. It's over. Just saying. Hey, come on, man. Like I said, they will kick you out of our hollow. They won't kick me out of our hollow. They be like, stop. Yeah, they fuck. will. Yeah, they be like, yo, stop fucking with these fucking these idiots. Stop fucking with these humans like that. You over there making all these little fucking half breed babies over there. You got a shit ton of these little half breeds. Like, you like, look, look. Okay, think about this right here. The Greek, like, light skin people hated the dark skin people. Think about the Greek. Think about the Greek <laughs> gods. <laughs> think about the Greek gods. This nigga God Zeus, is over, Zeus is over here fucking regular bitches is making Hercules and shit like that. 
Zeus was out here wild. Zeus was fucking everything on, on, on earth. They make all these little they all these were little though. demigods. They, they all were. was making these little demigods. <laughs> oh yeah, you got some of my power, son. Yeah, nigga, listen. You, you, probably got, you sleeping in the garage though. Yeah, you, you <laughs> gonna probably hear some birds talking to you, but that's that's what my species can do. We can talk to birds on our island, so you're gonna be able to communicate with the uh, animals. They gonna think it's God powers. That's just normal shit. We born with everybody where I come from can do this shit. Nigga, but this I just got a boat. Dr. Doolittle for a son. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's what they these what these trifling ass niggas would do. Like, they was offering. Yeah, calling Zeus trifling. Yeah, Zeus was, Zeus was come. Zeus was out here smiting. All right. <laughs> he smiting. <laughs> he was smiting. All right. I don't He's, know how we got here. I'm just saying we got here because got we got we 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 oh. We got to take it this funny route because it's about to wind down. That's why, like I said, the scary, like it's a lot of scary things that they sacrifice it's offering women and gold and your firstborn. And man, listen, I, it, I just, the deeper we go, having all those lands around, that's what makes me. That's why I said the first little couple, like all oh, the flight patterns and stuff, it's like, eh. But when you start talking about, Many areas to me, that's why everything that we can explain starts to kind of make sense a little bit more, especially when it comes to the species that you can't explain. The fucking, you know what I mean? So that's that's kind of where I where I sit on everything is I really want to go into, and like I said, we can have a part three to this. Yeah, um, I, I really want to go into like what species may be where theoretically and really do a deep dive. Uh, because I do think it's more there. Like I think we only tap the surface of the flat Earth theory. The theory you of the flat Earth. Get into that Asgard shit. Yeah, yeah. like I said, you need to get hit that hit them out of out of worlds. Yeah, man. Yeah, my listen. What? So before we wrap this or wrap this up, like, what is your opinion or your theory of why the flat Earth exists? Start with. Start with Kev. Why do you think this flat Earth exists and and what really goes on? So we're that... going with we agree with this? No, 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 no. Everybody, uh, like my theory. Okay, my theory of the flat Earth is this: I really think that we are the central hub of a great military power. That this is the perfect this is the perfect land to have. It has easier access to the outer rings because you. This is a throughway. This is an easier throughway to get to somewhere else. Instead of flying all the way around this ring, because think about it, just a flight from fucking here to Africa is a long time. To fly around the outside of rings where I can just do a cut through is a lot easier. That's my theory why this flat earth. And that's why I think like NATO protects Antarctica, whatever, because I think NATO is just, or the people who rule the middle earth is just fucking puppets for a bigger land on the outside with more technology. And this is just a great central military hub. That's my theory of why this flat earth exists. And it's a good theory. Space. How about y'all's? Um, if the flat earth did or does exist, and we are the middle earthers, I believe that we're just the ones who are trapped in the center. Everybody else gets free realm to go wherever except for us because of whatever may have happened. Or whatever we do do, but do 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 do. But I think that there's a reason that there's a reason why we can't see certain things, why we can't go certain places. You know what I mean? If if space was actually available, I think there would be more companies building spaceships. It wouldn't just be NASA. People would find. Mm. Un- People would find funding or money to figure out, okay, they're going in space. We can go to space too. There's just too much left out, just left open-ended. You know what I mean? So if there is, if this is a flat earth, then those, I think through those, what Kev like to call gates is the different dimensional, either different dimensional people or, or just more evolved land, more evolved species, probably shit that we would never be prepared for. We'd be walking into turmoil. We, especially the way we are as a species, like you said, it's fight or flight. 
you walk in some shit, you get scared, you see it come near you, you first thing you do is you think you gotta protect yourself. Then you realize, oh shit, this thing's gonna kill me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not it's not gonna end. And now they're coming through the gates. Now they want everybody to look like me. Full on assault. Oh yeah. I just I just think we the the child that nobody wanted. You know what I mean? They they came through the middle, got the Neanderthals pregnant, and then we came and niggas is like, you take them. No, you take them. No, you take them. No, Just keep them in the middle. Leave keep them on the rocks. <laughs> keep them in the middle. They'll destroy themselves sooner or later. Um, but no, seriously, I, I think that um, in all honesty, um, I don't know what to believe. Like, obviously, if I chose to believe the theory, I would probably say that. Like the flat earth theory and why it exists, I do believe that there is more lands because to me, it's like, why would it end with us? You know what I mean? Like, why would it end with just this one little, like I said, if we're choosing to believe that it does exist, then we're going off of what the government says. And the government says that aliens do exist also. Then they have to come from somewhere. They're not coming from here. Right. Uh, They're 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 biologically not made like us to survive and what we so clearly they're coming from somewhere else so i just believe that there are many lands and we are just one of those lands and we're a big experiment if i say that the flat earth exists we're one big experiment mm. Mm. all of us even the mother niggas mm. that's it that's good so damn so that's a you know like I said, I think we're gonna do a part three because it's, it's a lot of stuff out there. There's more theories. Some some make sense. Some very dumb. Uh, but I I, I want to do more into the mini lands and get more into the firmament. I, I, oh shit! Yeah, we should have really talked about. The yeah, firmament. I really I think I think this deserves permanent firmament. Uh, yeah, I think this deserves a part three, and I think we should do more research. On the outer lands and what's this bubble that surrounds us? Like, is it really? Oh, ozone? we didn't ozone. talk about sky ice. We didn't talk about it. Mm. Remember when I showed you? You don't gotta ice. wrap this shit up. Like we, 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 don't. we do. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Let's. So let's leave it. I'm gonna leave it off on that note. On the part three, and I'm gonna write it down, and that way we can get back to it. We're gonna talk about. Make sure we get in the sky, do some research on the sky ice and the outer lands. And what's this fucking bubble? This ozone, this outer zone, ozone layer. That we, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what they tell me in school, man. It's ozone layer. No, I'm, just, us, I'm just saying. <laughs> I was thinking about a man cave. Talk, I was just thinking about a man cave called the Brozone Layer. Don't worry about it. Oh, my God. I heard about that. But I heard that from somewhere. And as soon as you said ozone layer, I thought about the bro zone layer. I thought that was the greatest name for a man cave. Oh yeah, that's that sounds that is hot. But um, that I'm wrapping up the podcast. This is this will be part two. We are coming back with a part three. Listen out for the part three. We'll be dropping the part two. Um, that's it. We out of here. Peace. <laughs> Welcome to the bro zone, there, bitch. Ha, ha, ha.